What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have another build video on my Toyota Hilux. As you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail, I have new wheels and tyres for it. So yeah, I've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. And um, yeah, today is the day. So I have the rims here in front of me. Tomorrow we are getting some tyres mounted up on them. And then yeah, we'll be able to put them on the ute and see how they look. About a month or two ago, um, a viewer of the channel actually commented on one of the ute build videos that I put up um, and then I said something in the video about getting new rims and he commented saying that if I ever need tyres um, hit him up so yeah Dan over at Highway Tyres in Rotorua is hooking me up with a set of tyres for these so yeah I'm going for a 2453519 um, they are black lines I believe he said that's what he fits on all the boys utes and stuff and he said they're a really good tire for the price and the k's that you get out of them so yeah he hooked me up with a great deal on them and i'll give you a full walk around of his setup and we'll get these tires mounted up my original plan for the start of this video was to get the rims mounted up on my ute sort of as a test fit um, so you guys can have a look what it's sort of gonna look like without tires but unfortunately it is thunderstorming outside so that sort of went out the window Last week I did fit one up, um, so I actually had one sent up here from Auckland um, just because I didn't want to order four of them, get them here and then they'll not actually be what I really want and then have to pay for shipping for all four back. So yeah, I just put a deposit down for a, the full set and then just had one shipped up and then yeah, I test fitted it like I said on the front and rear and then I was super happy with the way it fit so I had the other three sent up. I'm going to be running a square setup. So that means the front and rear rims are the exact same spec. So I'm running a 19 by 9.5 35. And yeah, that pretty much is going to give me the ultimate wheel spec. So the rims aren't too big or too small. And they're a decent width. And then also the rim will be sitting flush with the guard. So yeah, I'm super happy with the way it fits. I'll actually put up. A couple of photos from when I test fitted one of the wheels it's sort of hard to get a reference of what it actually is going to look like but yeah sort of just give you guys a bit of an idea to be honest I probably couldn't count the hours on one hand that I've spent researching um, yeah on different sizes specs styles of rims um, yeah just so I could get the ultimate wheel for it brand new rims aren't cheap and I didn't want something that was just gonna look okay I wanted something that was going to look sick and be different that no one else has seen before. Originally I had my eyes on a set of TBC Hawks is what they're called. They're not made anymore. So yeah, I was really keen to get my hands on them just because they're hard to get hold of. So no one else was going to have them. But unfortunately they didn't have the size that I wanted. And I wasn't going to pull the trigger on them if they weren't going to fit properly. And then I stumbled over the rims that are just in front of me here. So these wheels are TBC. So that is the Bling Company here in uh, New Zealand. Most of you probably know. And they are the L1351s. Yeah, like I said, 19 by 9.5, 35 offset. And yeah, they're 5 by 114.3. So that's the stud pattern of the Hiluxes. So let's get this box opened up and you guys can have a look at them. So yeah, like I said, they are a bit of a different style. Um, yeah, they are going to look super sick. So yeah, check out these bad boys. So they're pretty trippy I suppose. All the left hand spokes are all offset. So they are a full machined face, and then it's got black on the inside, um, black hardware, and then yeah, the inner, like the barrel and the side of the spokes is all black. But yeah, these things are quite big. As you can see, there's my hand, and my hand's not small. So um, yeah, they're nine and a half wide, like I was saying before. It's going to be like the perfect size. So here's a better look, sort of out of the light on the face. So yeah, I'm super stoked with the way they look. Also in the box, you've got your sender caps. And then if you buy a full set, well, I got a set of chrome lock nuts, which is cool because I needed to buy some anyway. And yeah, so they're lock nuts, so you get the special socket for them. 
and you get some hub centric rings I believe these are called for when your centre bore is bigger on the rim and then for some reason they gave me two valve stems but I'm not going to end up using them The last thing I'm doing tonight, so I'm 100% ready for tomorrow. So I'm just got to stick the center caps, like the adhesive, onto the actual plate. As you can see, it's like the badge with the adhesive on the back. And it just sticks onto the actual cap, I suppose, which goes into the um, wheel. So I've already done two, as you can see. So look quite nice. But yeah, for some reason, it's two, two chrome ones. And two black ones so I'm um, yeah, just run black on the front and silver on the rear or whatever but yeah like you can't see them once they're in because they sit flush so you can't actually see the back but yeah, it doesn't really matter <clears throat> so you yeah, just been using some methylate spirits and just cleaning up the face where it's gonna stick down and then you're just sticking it down and holding some pressure on it all right so just got all the center caps done now so yeah they'll stick it up so I'll just um, chuck them in here. And depending on what happens tomorrow, um, like the weather and what time Dan shows up, I'll, it will depend sort of if I put the wheels on at work um, and, or if I do it at home. So yeah, I'm just going to take this little box with all the wheel nuts and um, the center caps and stuff just in case I end up doing it at work. But I'll bring you guys all through that. So yeah, I've got my center caps, um, the rings, lock nuts, the um, socket tool, so yeah, chuck that in the ute, and then we'll be ready to go. So we'll just put that in there, also got the CR250 expansion chamber that's getting sent out tomorrow to have the nickel plating stripped off it, and then yeah, we've got all four wheels in the back, bit of a tight squeeze, not going to have a lot of leg room tomorrow driving to work, because the seat's all the way forward. But um, yeah, I'll pick you guys up tomorrow when Dan comes. Alrighty, so it's the next day now. Um, I've just had word that Dan's parked down the road, so I'm gonna go down, drop him off the rims, and yeah, I'll give you guys a tour of his um his trailer setup and stuff. Alrighty, so I just made it down here. Um, Dan's just pulled over on the side of the road. So yeah, check out his setup. It's a big enclosed trailer. Has everything in here. His balancer tyre changer and yeah we got my the new tyres that are going on so uh, 245 uh, 35 nines, the black lines so definitely gonna do the trick got the, just the new wheels over there right so it's got the first one done it's like the perfect amount of stretch not too much but um, yeah it looks real nice So just getting them balanced up now. Alright, well I'm standing in the pissing rain but just got all the tyres mounted up and balanced and all that so yeah, tonight we'll get them mounted up and yeah, see how they look. Alrighty, well I just got my ute pulled into work so now time is to get the wheels mounted up. So I've got to get the centre caps pressed in and then you yeah, jack it up, whip the old ones off, got some new lug nuts and more on, put it on and man it's going to look sick. So it's got both rear wheels off. Um, while it was down here, just retorked the U-bolts from when we lowered it. So yeah, that's all done now. So we'll get the new wheels put on.
the, it's got the rear rims on both sides. It's looking pretty sweet. So when it's up, it's that going to be perfect equipment. So we'll drop it down and see. Right, so now I've just got the both front wheels on. Just got them done up. Um, haven't torqued them yet. I've already torqued the rear to 90 foot pounds. So yeah, we'll drop it down and um, man, it's gonna be low. Alrighty guys, well it's probably about a week after I have installed the wheels onto my ute, the new wheels. So I've been driving them around for about a week. I'm actually down where I filmed the end of the lowering video. So yeah, I'll give you guys a walk around and um, yeah, give you guys a look at it. Because man, the wheels just change the look of the ute so much. So yeah, here it is. Sorry if it's a bit windy, but um, yeah. It's come out so sick with the new wheels on.
bit of brake dust on them already, but um, yeah. The actual colour of them um, really ties in well with the ute, with sort of the polished and the chrome and stuff. Just really makes them pop with all the other accents on the ute. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the whole fit and finish of them. It really sets this ute off. Yeah, I also just want to give a massive shout out to Dan from Highway Tires for hooking it up um, yeah, with these black lines. Um, just in the last week of driving it, I've driven both in the wet and dry and they're performing amazing really for the price that I got them at. So yeah, I'm super stoked with them. So yeah, huge shout out to Dan. I'll leave his Instagram and Facebook link down in the description. So if you're from the Bay of Plenty area, Tauranga Rotorua, um, hit him up for your, all your tyre needs and stuff. He can come to you and yeah, fit you up some tyres. So yeah, once again, massive shout out to Dan. But yeah, other than that, is pretty much um, the final thing I really needed for the look of my ute. I um, still want to get some LED headlights and tail lights, and yeah, and then just give it a um, good cut and polish. But other than that, it's gonna pretty much stay looking this way. I'm super stoked with what I've turned it into from what it was. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the start of this little build series, um, yeah, go down below smash that like button hit subscribe if you want to see more content on this and the bikes and stuff and then um, yeah off that i will catch you guys in the next one cheers